Hey everyone, welcome to week 41 of 12 Months of Less. This week, I'm coming to you from my closet because I just hid here for 30 minutes because I thought there was a serial killer trying to break into my house. But more of the story is there is actually some kind people who will knock and ring the doorbell for five minutes if your lights are on because they want you to turn them off so your car doesn't die. So thank you neighbors or whoever you were that was looking out for me. I thought you were a serial killer. But it's fine. We're still alive. We're coming to you from the closet. And this week's theme, or no, <laughs> this month's theme is more you, less everyone else. And this week's challenge is to stop apologizing for who you are. I think that we do this a lot and we don't even know we're doing it. I look back on things in my life and I just, I know that there's have been times where I just haven't been like fully me and I think it's because I'm going to be judged or someone's going to have an opinion about me and you know I used to think like I want to be friends with everyone. Well honey here's, here's a little bit of truth. That's not realistic. <laughs> not everyone is going to be friends with you and it is okay. The truth is, and this is a quote from Rachel Hollis in her book, Girl, Wash Your Face. Someone else's opinion of you is none of your business. So I remember when I first started dating people, it was like middle school. And I remember this guy asking me like, what's your favorite music? What's your favorite food? Like like different things and I was scared to admit that I like country and country music and oh uh, what was the other one I like every time I answered something and he didn't agree, like it wasn't his favorite thing I would apologize and I, and I would be like oh I'm so sorry like I like your music too you need to embrace who you are because if all of us were the same exact person this world would not spin it would not operate i hate blood i hate serial killers that are at my door <laughs> just kidding i hate blood i could never be a doctor if 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 other people want to be like me there's no we wouldn't have any doctors we wouldn't have any babies <laughs> they wouldn't get delivered um or or if there was a serial killer that came here we wouldn't have any police officers to come and rescue me. I praise those people who are that way. But stop apologizing for who you are and the things that you do because that is what makes you, you. I went for the longest time. Like when someone would ask me, hey, have you seen this movie or the show or do you know who this actor, like, like these things, for the longest time I would just be like, oh yeah, yeah, that was so funny. I like that movie thing is me I do not watch any movies like I am the worst movie watcher I don't watch really any shows if it was my say we wouldn't have cable in the house because I just I don't TV and movies it's not really a big thing to me but for the longest time people would ask me you know have you seen this have you watched that and I would just like fib and play it off like yeah I did but now, now I like, it's like a joke in our office. <laughs> Todd, he always says, oh, do you know this quote? Oh, I forgot you don't watch movies. It's actually, it's funny because people know that that's just not my thing. Embrace who you are, the things that you like. Quit apologizing for just being you because there is no one else in this world like you and that is what is so great and special about you. Your challenge is to be you. Don't let anyone's opinion affect who you are. Own own who you are. And when thoughts start to creep in your mind, ignore them, shut them down, shut down the lies that you're telling yourself, and just be you. So that's it for this week. I will see you next week and hopefully I won't be in this closet because I gotta get out. I've already wasted a half an hour of my life hiding from someone who told me to turn my lights off or tried to tell me. Bye-bye, guys.